students today we are going to start chapter 2 gui operating system desktop management features of windows 7 is the first topic of the chapter windows 7 is very attractive interactive and easy to use second windows 7 has made searching easier third it is having a flexible task bar four it supports multitasking windows 7 is having so many versions that is windows 95 windows 98 windows xp windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 windows 7 is very popular now the second is jump list this is a very new feature that takes you straight to the documents pictures songs or website which we have recently visited jump lists can be found on the application icon that appear on the taskbar when an application is running or on the start menu in the recently opened program section for the example the jump list for internet explorer shows the recently opened websites to open a jump list what to do just right click on a program icon on the windows 7 taskbar jump list takes us straight to the documents pictures songs or website we have just visited the taskbar now what is a taskbar the taskbar can be seen at the bottom of the screen as a long horizontal bar it has start button at its left side notification area on the right side and quick launch toolbar at the middle the taskbar can be dragged to any of the four sides of the desktop so where is the start button situated we it is situated at the bottom of the screen taskbar provides the easiest method to switch between active programs whenever we run a program it but its button is automatically placed on the taskbar what is start button the option present in the start menu provides access to the main programs on the computer the start button is the most used button on the windows desktop when we click on the start button a menu displaying the major option appears this menu is known as start menu second is notification area this area contains the clock and other program icons which provide the status and notification about the programs running on the computer third quick launch bar here we can add commonly used programs such as internet explorer word application etc these can be opened or launched with a single click the quick la launch bar provide an easy and quick way to open the programs this is the area between start button and notification now how to customize the taskbar we can customize the taskbar to best suit our needs we can customize the taskbar by right click on the taskbar and select the properties option The taskbar and start menu properties dialog box appears. We will notice that by default the taskbar tab is open. In the taskbar appearance section, we have to click on the lock the taskbar. This will lock the position of the taskbar and will not allow it to move to any other place. Now, click on the auto hide the task check box this option makes the taskbar to hide automatically when it is not in use 
Now click on this use small icons checkbox. The option reduces the size of the taskbar icon to fit more program icons on the taskbar. Now specify the location of the taskbar by choosing any desired option from the drop down menu of taskbar location on screen. It can be the choices can be bottom, top, right, left. Second is setting the date and time. How to set date and time? To set the date and time, click on the change date and time button. The date and time setting dialog box appear. Select the current day in the displayed calendar. Now we can change the month using the forward backward button present on the calendar. To change the time, change the hour, select the hour in the text box. We can also make use of the spin arrows to increase or decrease the value as required. Similarly, we can change the minutes and seconds. Click OK and the date and time of the system will change accordingly. So, uh, where you can find the change date and time button? Change and time setting option. Now, how to set the volume of the speaker? To set the volume of the speaker, click on the speaker's icon present on the notification area. In the pop-up window, drag the slider up and down to increase or decrease the volume respectively. Click the mixer if you want to separately control the volume of computer speaker and other sound devices. To mute the volume, what to do? Just click on mute speakers button. Mute speakers button. And now the setting of the volume of a speaker can be changed according to you. Which icon we have to click? In the notification area, speakers icon. Now use of shortcut menu. Whenever we click, right click on any icon, a pop-up menu appears which is called context menu. Using this menu, we can save our time to access commands. Right clicking on the different areas and objects will play different sets of commands in the context menu. The context menu is also called shortcut menu. We can find the properties option at the bottom of the list. Now, what is right clicking on the blank area? When we click this, a personalized menu can be seen at the bottom by which we can change background settings of the desktop, screensaver, etc. When we right click on any of the icon on the desktop, we will find an entirely different icon. Now what is icon? Icons are the small pictures which represent a particular software, files, folders or programs. The icons play a very important role in a graphical user interface. Just see, you have seen a computer icon, what it gives? When you click on this, it gives a view of available drivers and their contents stored on the system. Second, you have seen that recycle bin. It holds deleted the file. It is just like, like a dustbin. You can see that picture and you can click on that. Network, a globe and a computer is kept. Now, the last answer the following is given. R explain any two features of Windows 7. As I have already explained in this video, please have a look, learn it and write it in your copy. Second, what is the taskbar? Explain its various sections. Third, what are the various options that is 
help in specifying how icons should be displayed on the taskbar. Fourth, describe the state steps required for setting the date and time. And the last, write a short note on the document icon and the recycle bin. Document icon is can be MS Word, Notepad, etc. And recycle bin means what it contains. You have to write. So write all the five questions questions answer in your copy and go through whatever is taught in this video thank you children